Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another RuneScape video. Today, I was going over my bank and I ended up realizing that I've actually been saving up these clue scrolls for a little bit of time. Now, this might not be too crazy for most people, but I saved about 41 elites from doing a Raxor and going for my Fang. And I've saved up these hard clues when I was going for my Wilderness Slayer to get points for a Raxor. Anyways, I think today's the day I open all of this. For some of you, this might not be a lot, but for me, this is a lot. I always open every single clue as I get it. Today, we're gonna open all of this, we're gonna save up our masters, and we're gonna open the masters at the very end as well. And if my each is not satisfied yet, I also have a lot of dark totems that I can do to get even more clue scrolls, but maybe this will do another time. I guess a little bit of a further introduction is important here. We are on our maxed main account, and I don't have that many collections logged on this account at all. Most of the clue scrolls that I've ever done were either on my hardcore accounts, Iron Man accounts, leagues, deadman modes, you name it. But if you go on the clue tab, I've done one big beginner clue scroll. I've done four easy clue scrolls. I have done a lot of uh, medium clues. I made videos on this in the past. So getting a collection log pop up on the medium clues would be actually kind of insane. Hards, I've not done that many, only 133. And elites, we've done 47. So I'm almost gonna double all of the elites by opening this. That's gonna be pretty cool. And masters, I've only done 36 on this account. So because of that, I think it is a cool thing to do today to just open these. And I guess we're gonna start at beginners and moving our way up to elites. But before we continue, let's quickly talk about today's sponsor, Marvel Strike Force. Marvel Strike Force brings the Marvel Universe to life in a squad-based RPG, where you can assemble the most powerful teams of Marvel heroes and villains to fight iconic enemies. This month, you can get a free character Agatha Harkness by using my link in the description or scanning the QR code on screen. In Marvel Strike Force, you can recruit heroes like Iron Man, Wolverine, Venom, Deadpool and many others and use them in the game modes like Arena, Blitz and Campaigns. And if you're a new player, you can unlock up to 17 total characters within the first 30 days, that's including Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America and more favorites. Not to mention the game is free to play and your goal is to power up your characters, complete missions and unlock new gear and resources in order to beat other players in PvP modes such as Alliance War, a massive weekly battle where you and your alliance go head to head against other players in a tournament. You can also unlock other characters and costumes from Marvel movies, TV shows and comics. This month they have a highly anticipated character, Blade and his team of Night Stalkers. And in order to celebrate the spooky season, players can redeem the promo code HALLOWEEN to get their free 100 shards for Zombie Iron Man, 600,000 gold and 480 L2 training modules. So do not miss out and simply download the game for free by using the link in the description or scanning the QR code. Thank you once again to Marvel. Marvel Strike Force for supporting the channel. Let's get back to the video. Alright, then 484 collections logged. Let's start off with this few beginners. Honestly, if you ask me where I got these beginners from, I couldn't tell you. Uh, these have probably been in my bank for a very long time. And as you can see, the rewards are absolutely phenomenal. So we're just gonna speed run through those. What did I just get? A black pickaxe? That's apparently a collection log. Very peculiar. Who would have thought? Right, we keep on going. And unfortunately, we have gotten only one collection log from those. I probably should... Do I, do I bank this stuff? Like, I don't know. I don't think it's worth a lot of money. Uh, let's open the easies as well. We might as well. Oh my goodness, you can get masters from easies. All right, so that's the moment I've been waiting on. I will be completing all the masters as I get them. I hate the whole dropping thing, waiting one hour. Nah, not a fan of it. We're just gonna do it as we get them. Come back and open the rest. I actually forgot how long it takes to complete master clue scrolls, but we got it done. Let's utilize the Shiloh village bag to open the rest of the clue scrolls now. Uh, let's go ahead and finish our nine easies. Ooh, wait a second. Our very first collection pop-up. That's apparently worth almost 300k, a golden apron, that's kinda cool. I guess I should have the chat open so you can kinda see the profit. Oh my god, I opened three and we have another master. This might take me many hours to complete, right, let's get it done. That one took even longer, but alright, we got a third master casket. Let's go ahead and do another opening. We got another collection log pop-up here, a random ass plate body. Nothing in this one, nothing in that one, nothing in this one. We got two new collection logs in that one, 70k, armadillo rope top and a powdered wig, we'll take that. And last one has nothing. Alright, we're now gonna be moving 
over to medium clue scrolls. Now this is where collection logs pop-ups would be actually kind of insane because I have most of the collection log finished here so I don't think it's gonna happen and obviously if we were to land on the boots we could get something worth a lot of money but I don't think it's gonna happen. We obviously don't have a lot of things to open. Wow, we actually did end up getting a collection log slot pop-up. Pink elegant shirt, if I look at collection log slots, medium. That is very cool, only missing Adam and Helm here. Mithril plate body and a couple of these things. And now we just got our, uh, this, I think, right? Elegant skirt. Okay, cool. We're gonna move over to hards right now. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go sell my jug here because, yeah, I have no space in my bag. Alright, and apparently we made over 1 million from just selling trash that I was going to drop on the floor. So that's kind of cool, but we are now moving on to the more exciting part. Hard clue scrolls. Looking at the collection logs very quickly, only have 21 items. Honestly, I would love to see some of these, like any of these drops and more master clue scrolls, I guess. So let's take a look. Let's see what do we get. Starting off with the Zami Diad boots. That's actually worth a lot of money, 850k. Uh, but I already have them. That's crazy. 16k, that's pretty bad. 32k. And there is our master clue scroll, right? Let's spend another half an hour completing that one as well. Back once again with another master. We're up to four. It's, uh, it's, it's coming together a little bit. But we continue with these hard clues. I am yet to pull any, obviously, third age or any, like, rare items in RuneScape. Like, original game mode, right? I've done it in leagues, but... Never in, like, the main game. So there's Ancient Bracers uh, going for 150k. Not too bad. Uh, moving on to 58k from this one. We also got, uh, I guess, Runkai Shield T. 105k from the next one. And that is 180k. On an Iron Man, I would do anything to get this Amulet of Glory early on. But yeah, pretty interesting. We only have 11 left. 10 left. What do we get? Yet another Bloody Height Chaps getting a lot of collection log pop-ups right now. And another Zami Dehyde Boots, 850k. That's the third one, I believe. Uh, second one in this video alone, so that's very lucky. We're just gonna go ahead and throw everything in here. I kind of want to pick all of this up as well. And we still have nine more. 81k from this one. 93k. Nothing in this one. Oh! No! No, 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 no. I actually got... My very first third age, 78 million. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Dude, I'm actually like low-key kind of shaking. Like, I don't know why. What? Oh my god. Wait, let me just pick it up first before it disappears. Okay, it's in my inventory. I, I don't believe it. My very first third age item in this game. I've gotten a third age ring, but that is like a super common. I need to look up how rare this is in a runescape, by the way. I know for a fact this is so rare, but I don't know if I can quickly get any information on, like, how, how rare this actually is. Like, what? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so happy. Anyways, let's, let's open this five more, and then we continue. We could get even more stuff from all of these elites as well. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. So we're just gonna keep on going. We even pull a black dragon mask here. Man, this video cannot get any better now. Like, we literally pulled what everybody wants to pull whenever they're opening hard clues and I don't even know how to feel about it because yeah I don't know this is it's like weird because I didn't expect it I didn't have that many clue scrolls to open and I basically pulled one of the rarest possible things you can pull on an account so let's take a look here on the hard treasure trails oh there on the rare page we have one out of 24 with this third age range top that is absolutely ridiculous. All right, I've had a little bit of time to do some research, and unless Google is lying, the chance of landing on any third age piece on a hard clue scroll is 1 in 13,616. Do feel free to correct me in the comments if that is not correct, but that is absolutely ridiculous to get in just 150 hard clue scrolls. 
I am absolutely speechless, but with that being said, it is time to move to the spicy part of the video. 41 elite caskets. I have accumulated most of these through Araxor, and as you can see, I've killed just a little bit over 1000 Araxor. I think I've made a few videos on that boss when it originally came out, uh, but let's go ahead and give this a nice little open as well. 180k. And there it is, a first master coming from Elites as well. We also have a magic seed in there. Very weird looking clue scroll, if I can say. What is this clue scroll actually? Two fire lighters, a seed and some sweets. That is really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I am ecstatic right now. Back once again with the fifth master casket. Not too bad. And we still have a whole lot of... Where are they? Oh, there we go. 39 Elites. All right, can we continue the luck? I, that, that's what I'm wondering, because we could, in theory, get more good stuff. This is a lot of elites. So that's 376k there. We get a little Dragonstone bracelet, 212k, 208k, uh, 67, 74. Okay, these are a little bit underwhelming, but I don't think I'm ever in a position where I'm allowed to complain about anything right now. 33 elites to go. And this one is 88k. And this one is 448k. And there's another master. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. But my bank is full again, so it is time to sell the junk stuff again. And see how much money we make this time around. And that's another 3 million from selling off the junk. Let's go ahead and do this master clue scroll. Another master successfully secured. Let's go back and start opening some more. We still have 30 elite caskets. Let's see if we continue getting lucky here. 141k. And the light bow tie. And I need to go back. Oh my god, I'm doing so many of these. But also, what even is this? That is... I didn't even know this existed. This is useless. Alright, at least I managed to finish this one a little bit quicker. We're now up to 7 masters. And we still have 28 elites to go. Let's take a look. 407k. All in, I guess, teleports and tick planks. That is a dragon chain body ornament kit. And Piscarillius scarf. Uh, that's worth uh, 127k. And we got the master again. I do two clues, I get a master. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Look, I'm three hours in right now. I thought I would just log into the game, open my clue scrolls, log out, move on. But no, we are doing every single master. So we're going right back to follow the bard. Just about every single clue today has taken me to the wilderness. But we secured another one. We are up to eight master caskets now. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and open the next few clue scrolls right here in the wilderness. Now, I also looked it up, like, what is the chances of getting master clues? And it's one in five from elites, actually, so it's pretty common. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what else we can get. Starting off with 48k, 88k, 369, 153, 146k. Okay, we're getting no drops now. Let's uh, throw this in the bank real quick. We still have 20 to open. And we get a bronze dragon mask. That is a uh, 176k right there. A 127k. Nothing in this one. 150k. This one is 90k. And there it is. Another master clue. We've now completed 73 elites. This one was worth 104k. We're printing money right here. The loot is honestly not that... Like, for the amount of time it takes to complete elites, by the way, if you've ever done them in old school RuneScape, it is a pretty long time. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this clue scroll as well. Master clue number 9 completed. And we still have 15 elite clues to go. Let's take a look if we can get lucky here at the very end. We get 115k. Holy wraps. Okay, that looked really good for a second there. That's 1.5 million. Are these, like, rare or something? I guess these are what are worth so much. Maybe they look good in game. I don't know why these are worth so much money, to be honest. Uh, anyways, 13 to go. And we got another master clue scroll. Let's get it done. This one was worth 140k. Double digit master clue scrolls. We are now on 10. And 12 elite caskets to go. I kind of don't want to get any more master clue scrolls. God 
damn it. The very first one, we're going back. I've been at this for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Nice. My inventory is once again too full to continue, so let's go ahead and sell just about everything we got so far. Another 2.8 million, and I think this will have to be enough for now. 11 master clue scrolls, carefully prepared for the opening coming very shortly. Am I going to get another one? Let's take a look. That one's worth 118k, 105k. This one is 69k, 204k, 109k. Where's the good drops? 283? Okay, we're getting absolutely scammed right now. And I'm pretty surprised we haven't seen a Mimic yet either. We still have 5 left, that's 250k, 177. And here's the Master Clue Scroll. This is the first time I'm actually gonna drop it. And I'm gonna complete it right after I open these three. This one is worth 88k. This one's worth 73k. And the last one is worth 205k. We really did not get anything good from the elites outside of all the master clue scrolls. So now I'm gonna carefully go complete this master clue scroll and then we're gonna open 12 of those and hopefully get some really good loot there. All right, after about five hours, maybe six, I'd say, maybe I'm just a really slow master clue scroll completioner, I guess. But we now have 12 master clue scrolls and we are ready to open the last of our clue scrolls, I guess. Now, just to quickly refresh people's memories when it comes to collection logs and when it does come to master clue scrolls, we really don't have much. I mean, I have the third age ring, but I think this is extremely common. Uh, and we have 12 out of 49 items. So master clue scrolls obviously take a long time to get, take a long time to complete as well if you are like not very good at the game which i guess i'm not uh but we have 12 of them we're gonna open them see if we get something good and we are still waiting to see if we get any mimics and we start off with 310k moving on to 379k uh 240 i don't even see this number 48k and 239k so so far the loot is not very good this one is 337k. Let's uh, throw everything here in the bank real quick. And we still have seven more. So, will we end it on a good drop or not? There's our best clue scroll so far, 552k. Actually, that's a lie because we did end up getting the Zamorak boots twice on the hard clues. So this one is nearly 300k. And finally, a little pop-up, Archaeus Hood, 312k for this one. And the next one gives us a 459k. Nothing too crazy in that one. Moving on to 354k. Can I please see some items? Oi, 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 it's not happening. All right, we're leaving the last one. The last clue scroll. Will it be a mimic or will it not be a mimic? Let's take a look. Not a mimic and we get 569k from this one. In the whole process of making this video, we definitely made a lot of money. But the most important thing that we received in this video is our very first third age piece third age range top it actually looks kind of nice as well you know uh, i'm probably gonna sell it like to be honest i don't plan on keeping this uh it is currently priced at about almost 80 million so i might slow sell it or something like that uh, but still very excited to get an item this rare for the first time in my life playing RuneScape. And with that being said, I do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Something completely different. Obviously, I have been gone for a little bit. I've been playing a lot of New World and Throne and Liberty over on my Twitch and on my second channel. But right now, we're basically just anticipating the League's release. And that's when we're gonna start to post a lot of videos again. As always, I do appreciate all of the support. If you guys made it this far, consider subscribing to the channel. And once again, thank you to Marvel Strike Force for deciding to sponsor this video. I'll catch you guys very soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day and bye-bye. <laughs>